It might not look like much, but this is actually a DNA test. It's very low tech on the boat, right? Molecular biologist Christy Miller is one of the scientists aboard Canada C3. The specialized ship is circling the country from Toronto to Victoria through the Northwest Passage from coast to coast to coast. One of the experiments on board analyzes environmental DNA. Once they collect a sample, they transfer it to a bag, mark the location, then it's back to the lab to preserve the DNA. Miller says she's kind of like a forensic detective. You know, molecular biology is very CSI-like. <laughs> Animals, big and small, shed skin, scales, and other types of cells all the time. Each sample detects those cells and shows scientists what recently swam through that spot. There could be well over a hundred different invertebrate species and dozens dozen to a do to dozens of fish species. It takes about a week to get from the water samples collected here to finding out exactly what species may have been in the water recently. These species-specific snapshots are interesting, but they become powerful when put into context. The plan is to compare the snapshots taken this year with some taken a decade ago in the same locations. If more Atlantic and Pacific species are found higher up in the Arctic, it could be further proof of rising water temperatures and climate change. In all, the team hopes to collect 80 to 100 snapshots in a journey spanning the length of Canada's coastline and taking 150 days. Brett Ruskin, CBC News, aboard the Canada C3 ship.